Hello YouTubers, this is GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair here with a new video. Uh, this morning I'm working in a 1993 Chevy Silverado 4.3 six cylinder automatic two wheel drive and uh, the customer complained or state that the problem it is that when it's a cold start, I mean first thing in the morning, I well, it's been sitting for a long time the vehicle is idling, searching for idle. Our idle goes up, can it stay there, has stayed in, put it in gear and dies. Anyhow, after we check, <clears throat> I found something uh, interesting, but anyhow, before I get into that, I wanna give you a little bit of backstory here. The guy already replaced the idle control solenoid. It replaced the map sensor, it replaced the fuel pump, the fuel filter, and a bunch of other stuff has been done to the vehicle and nothing. Oh, and fuel pressure regulator. And it's still having issues. So timing is okay, mechanical seems to be okay. So what is it? <clears throat> so after I check it, I found uh, two things. That when the car is running, if I disconnect one of these injectors, we have two injectors, TVI, throttle body injection. You should <clears throat> run the RPM should drop because now we have less fuel, but it doesn't matter which one I, I remove or I disconnect, you should keep idling the SEM. If I disconnect the passenger side, remove it, it should run, it stay running. I connect it, disconnect the other one, it should still run in the same as the previous injector. In this case, it doesn't do that. When I disconnect this and run it with only the driver's side injector, it runs, it stays there fairly okay. But when I do the opposite, with this one, it starts for fuel and it starts dying. And it dies, eventually dies. So that's not good. Then we look a little bit deeper and I found that somebody was here and they tried to repair why the, the, the fuel uh, pressure regulator but unfortunately they did not do it a good job i will show you in a second i gotta put the video i mean the, the camera down so i need to release some of the pressure here so that way there is nothing accumulated here I'll be right back all right so the way you do this it is a relay for the fuel pump. So you're gonna unplug it, gonna crank it, sometimes to start, and it's gonna just relieve whatever pressure is here on the regulator. So that way it's no pressure build and you remove the top and it's not gonna splash all over here. All right, anyhow. So here are the component, here's the fuel pressure regulator housing. The and what I was trying to say here, you can see here, that somebody uh, welded, put a spot there, a weld or bronze, all right? This is doesn't have this. This is uh, a new component. And here you have a screw from factory and it's set to regulate the pressure. So this should not be uh, adjusted or nothing like that you just leave it alone all right if it, the pressure regulator goes bad you can replace the di diaphragm inside remove the bolts you can see it here somebody did it already it's a different color and put the new piece and reinstall it put it back and it's done but somebody else like i said was here previously so you can see right here the adjustment of what it is Okay, it says spring loaded, and you can see here 
the difference. So if this is way too much adjusted, or it will prevent from going enough fuel into the injectors. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna clean here the surface and I am going to replace the injectors because the customer sent in, uh, brought the injectors. So that way it's like, all right, let's get done with this and let's move on. They've been dealing with this problem for quite a while now. Anyhow, so I will try to show you as much as I can, but let's see how much I, I can do. I need two hands and my camera, you know, if it places too far away, you guys won't be able to see very well. So I'll be back. All right, guys, everything is back together here. So the two new injectors that are in, the new regulator with the housing you know, of the regulator, which is all this. Okay, it's there. <clears throat> so it's being replaced. So what we're gonna do when I fire it up, so you guys can see, before the engine was like, the, uh, the idle was all over the place. So we are going to uh, start the engine. And I believe it should be okay. So let's do that. Here, just want to point this out. When you remove the injector, you're gonna pull it out of the throttle body. And here, this little guy, just pay attention where it goes. It's a place there, it goes into it. So that will lock it in place and doesn't turn or anything like that. Okay, so that way your connector can, can set there, correct? So just remember that part. Anyhow. So that's it guys, idling, no problem. Before we're searching, we want it to die every single time. So here is the fix. Well, I hope you find value in this video. If you did, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, and um, share the video. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, and that somebody, the custom, I need to fix that too, but that's nothing to do with me now. Oh well. Nice. There you have it guys. Have a great day.